According to the Direct Selling Association, if you add up all the network marketing companies around the world, they combine to do over $178 billion a year in retail sales. To give you an idea of how big that really is, the NFL, the National Football League, does approximately $9 billion a year. The music industry does a little more than $16 billion a year, and the movie industry does about $80 billion a year. Using a conservative average, network marketing companies pay their distributors about 40% of that $178 billion in the form of commissions, which adds up to more than $71 billion a year. That's almost $6 billion a month. It's almost $200 million in commissions every single day. So it's certainly working, and people are making serious money in network marketing. With the growth of the direct selling industry over the last 10, 15, 20 years, we've seen a broader understanding of the channel. We have seen more and more people getting involved in the business. So our penetration in the marketplace has increased and thus the understanding in the marketplace of who we are has increased. And we've seen non-direct selling companies look at the direct selling model and say, something's going on there. People are making money. Companies are being profitable, individuals are being motivated, product is being delivered to market. Maybe we should explore this. Some people think only the people at the top make money. Well, let's take a look at that as well. In the network marketing profession, there are roughly 500 people in the world who earn over a million dollars a year. If you round that number up to $2 million a year, that adds up to about a billion dollars a year. That takes the $71 billion paid out each year down to 70 billion. So where does the rest of the money go? The vast majority goes to part-time people making anywhere from a few hundred dollars a month to many thousands of dollars a month. It goes to people who choose to make it a full-time career move and earning even more than that. Every day, people are using the money they earn through network marketing to pay off debt, have more fun, and improve the quality of their lives. Everyone I know in network marketing has been doing that since the 50s. They go to work when they want to go to work. They stop working when they want to take time with their children to have a leisurely breakfast and discuss issues and drive them to school. They go back to work when they get home, wherever they're working out of. The biggest thing that I've seen is people that have become much happier in their life. MLM has probably made more millionaires of more people in more countries. And I've spoken to them in 50, 67 countries than any other single form of business, starting from nothing. If they have a choice between working a job for the next 10 years or working a network marketing business for the next 10 years, the result of working the network marketing business will be better. A lot of people within the industry go on and make this a career um, and do extremely, extremely well at it. Network marketing has been nothing but good for everyone I know that's been involved with it because they did it seriously and they played full out and they've been very successful. It's been a constant barrage of success stories and um, people showing off stuff <laughs> they got as a result of it. How many people are involved? Approximately 16 million Americans and 96 million people around the world are currently participating in network marketing. And in a recent poll, 82% of those people report a good, very good, or excellent experience with network marketing. So people are happy.